I've always liked television. I used to have a dinky BBC vehicles and created outside broadcasts. More recently, I was chairman of the company that runs Media City UK in Salford. I worked closely with the BBC to set up TV studios and offices. I also worked with ITV to bring Coronation Street to Salford. People in television talk about creatives, people who create the TV we enjoy. Many of them are a little mad. My youngest son works in television. It's funny how these things work out, isn't it? He has just finished a contract as an assistant producer on Top Gear. He found working with Chris Evans rather challenging. I had the pleasure of working with Phil Redmond, the man who created Grange Hill and Brookie, Brookside. Together we ran Liverpool's year as European Capital of Culture in 2008. Later, Phil wrote his autobiography. I have it here. It's a story of political infighting as well as creativity. He describes our symbiotic relationship. Let me just read out a sentence. With Brian Gray's hands on the region's financial and political levers, together with my relationships with the creative and media community, we began to reshape and drive things forward. You will see that Phil claims the creative role for himself. My point is that that's a stereotypical view because we are all creative in different ways. I bet many of you have creations at home. A first clay pot, a child's drawing, a cherished homemade gift. I grew up in a Blue Peter generation. We made things from fair liquid bottles, toilet rolls and sticky back plastic. You weren't allowed to mention brands on the BBC, so sellotape was sticky tape. I passed my Blue Peter habit to our three boys. Robert won a Blue Peter badge for his model of the Thunderbirds Tracy Island. At this point I must point out that I, I too have a Blue Peter badge. I was given it because I helped to create something, Media City UK. I wear it with pride, but not very often. Creativity takes many forms. My mother was a member of the WI. Every month they had a competition. You know the kind of thing. A boiled egg cover you have crocheted. Well, my mother was useless at things like that. When Robert was born, she thought she should knit a jumper. It was not a success. It was about 10 sizes too big, with many holes in the wrong places. But she was very creative. She was an excellent cook and cake decorator. She also created stories. She would sit on my bed and make up bedtime stories. They were often about trains, because that was what I was interested in. I believe that we are all creative. Here's an idea. Why don't you create a list of 50 favourite objects? Anything you like. I've started doing this. The idea came from the British Museum's exhibition of 50 treasures. You can include anything you like. The Mona Lisa, a favourite teapot, or something that your children have made. One of my 50 favourite objects is a bookmark. I have it here. It was given to me by my son Philip. It has a drawing of a train and on the back it says, To Daddy, love from Philip, an expression of his love. I use it in another of my favourite objects, a Bible given to me by my grandma 40 years ago in the year we were married. You might include a Lego model. If you want inspiration, get over to Reged from Saturday and see some wonderful creativity, particularly the Flying Scotsman. It's almost time for us all to go off and be creative in our different ways. I would like to set us all a little challenge for today, something we can all do, something we can all create. Let's all make someone smile today.